15 trophies, countless goals, and football so beautiful it felt like a dream. No, these aren't video game stats. This is prime Barcelona, arguably the greatest team the world has ever seen. To grasp just how incredible they were, we need to rewind to where it all began in the 90s. Barcelona was a formidable team with stars like Luis Figo, Rivaldo and Ronaldo Nazario. But by the early 2000s their dominance waned. Real Madrid, under Florentino Perez's ambitious leadership, was rising. Perez's first major move was to steal Barcelona's best player in the 90s. Barcelona was a force with stars like Luis Figo, Rivaldo, and Ronaldo Nazario. But by the early 2000s, they struggled domestically, the winning only the Copi Catalunya while rivals like Deportivo and Valencia took league titles. Meanwhile, Real Madrid became stronger with signings like Beckham, Zidane, and Ronaldo Nazario, overshadowing Barcelona as Spain's dominant force. However, in the 2 00405 season, they Barcelona reclaimed the league title, ending their trophy drought and marking their resurgence under coach Frank Rijkaard, Barcelona made strategic signings like Samuel Etbu from Mallorca, who scored 29 goals that season. Deco joined from Porto bolstering the midfield while a 16-year-old named Lionel Messi from the B team was promoted. Winning the league signaled Barcelona's resurgence, and in 2 00506, they clinched their first Champions League title in 14 years, alongside retaining the league title and winning the Spanish Super Cup. It was a triumphant season that marked Barcelona's peak in the following season. Barcelona couldn't replicate their previous successes, settling for second place in the league and suffering a loss in the Club World Cup final. Their Champions League campaign ended in disappointment with an early exit in the round of 16, compounded by losing the UEFA Super Cup. The team heavily relied on Ronaldinho, who scored 24 goals across all competitions, highlighting underlying issues within the squad by 2007, club leadership, inspired by figures like Johan Cruyff acknowledged the need for a reset. Instead of chasing high-profile signings, they refocused on their philosophy of nurturing homegrown talent. This returned to their roots proved pivotal as they uncovered a hidden gem within their ranks Lionel Messi, still developing but already a standout, played alongside Ronaldinho and Samuel Ito'o in a season where Barcelona showed promise but won no trophies. President Joan Laporta knew big changes were necessary. In 2 00809, Pep Guardiola, promoted from coaching Barca B, despite his lack of senior team experience, arrived with Johan Cruyff as backing. Guardiola quickly began making significant strides. Ronaldinho departed for AC Milan, signaling a major shift. Barcelona's acquisition of Thierry Henry from Arsenal marked the beginning of significant changes under Pep Guardiola. He promoted Sergio Busquets and brought back Gerard Pique from Manchester United, while securing Dani Alves from Sevilla. Guardiola also emphasized midfield maestro Zigzavi and Iniesta, reshaping the attack for deadly efficiency. Amid expectations for Henry to lead the front line, Guardiola surprised by deploying Messi centrally, with Ito'o on the right and Henry on the left. Critics doubted the strategy, but by May 2009, Guardiola's vision bore, with fruit with Barcelona achieving an unprecedented treble. It wasn't just about winning trophies Barcelona had mastered a brand of possession-based football that set them apart Guardiola instilled a deep sense of commitment in players dedicated to the Barcelona ethos, playing mesmerizing football that left fans spellbound. It was a pivotal season that signaled Barcelona's resurgence, overshadowing Real Madrid's financial prowess. In 2009 they achieved a historic feat, winning six trophies and solidifying their status among football's elite Messi claimed his first Ballon d'Or, adding to the club's accolades as they entered the 2 00910 season with high expectations. While they retained the league title, their Champions League campaign ended disappointingly with a 3-2 aggregate loss to Inter Milan. The season also saw mixed results in transfers, notably Samuel Etio's departure in a $46 million swap deal to Inter Milan after Ibrahimovic's departure. Barcelona felt his absence keenly, especially as he became the only player in history to win back-to-back -back trebles. Looking to reclaim their dominance, Pep Guardiola and his team focused on the intense La Liga battles ahead, particularly with Real Madrid's resurgence under Jose Mourinho. With Cristiano Ronaldo's arrival two years earlier, the rivalry between the two giants intensified, reaching its peak in the 2010 double one season Barcelona hit their stride in January of that season, showcasing an unstoppable form. Messi became pivotal up front, supported by new additions like David Villa and de Javier Mascherano. Guardiola's tactical prowess utilized the talents of veterans like Henry and Tour alongside Ibrahimovic, aiming to strike a balance and regain their winning formula that season, Prime Barcelona reached unprecedented levels of dominance, surpassing even their legendary 2009 form with purer, and more controlled football. Their possession soared from 51% to an astonishing 70%, and 
showcasing their complete command on the field. Barcelona didn't just win games, they overwhelmed opponents. After defeating Manchester United in the Champions League final, Sir Alex Ferguson admitted, No one has ever given us a hiding like that Barcelona's mesmerizing passing and obsession. With possession made them unstoppable. Control and precision defined their play. The 3-1 scoreline against Manchester United belied the utter domination it felt like a one-sided training session. Barcelona's season was a testament to their unrivaled excellence and the legacy they carved in football history in 2-0, double 1-1-2. Barcelona experienced a bittersweet season as Pep Guardiola announced his departure. Despite this, they honored him by winning the Copa del Rey UEFA Super Cup, FIFA Club World Cup, and Spanish Super Cup. Real Madrid clinched a La Liga, but acknowledged they couldn't match Barcelona's brilliance that year. Fast forward to 2015, Barcelona recreated magic with Messi, Neymar, and Suarez forming the iconic MSN trio, scoring over 120 goals and dominating under Luis Enrique. They secured La Liga, Champions League and Copa del Rey, yet even this team couldn't. Quite match the breathtaking style of Pep's 2011 cider recent years saw Barcelona endure challenges, entering another re- Don't to forget to check over merch and t-shirt design link in bio. Rebuilding phase under President Joan Laporta. With Xavi, Guardiola's protégé, now at the helm, there's hope for a return to their glorious footballing ethos. Perhaps another prime Barcelona team is on the horizon, led by legends who embody beautiful football and the club's enduring spirit and subscribe to FC Freak.